What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Brennan and I'm BMANX45 and today we're coming at you with another video. We have another book reveal. It, this is for the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom strategy guide. I'm a little bit late to the party. I know the book's been out for a little while already. I didn't know about it. Someone mentioned it to me and I picked it up off Amazon in the last couple days because I always do like to get the strategy guides for the Zelda games. Um, not something I necessarily need, but I do like the artwork. Uh, and they're really cool. They give you some extra pointers and some help with things that might be otherwise um, tricky. And you know what? I love a good hardcover, so that's <laughs> as well something. So we're going to get into this. We're going to take a look uh, at um, the book and see what it has to offer and see if it's worthwhile uh, for people to pick up. Uh, and like I said, I might be late to the party, but I like doing this kind of stuff. So hopefully you like watching it uh, as well. Uh, I do have a lot of Zelda strategy guides. I've collected them for years. I got the big hardcover box, uh, the treasure chest with all the hardcovers for all the main games, um, the cool title, the best titles. Uh, in fact, my first ever strategy guide, I think, was the Zelda uh, Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons um, Nintendo Mix strategy guide, which was a big help uh, back in the day when I was quite younger and did not play video games as well. So I've always had a special place for strategy guides in my heart, especially when you get you know stuck on something and stuff like that. And they are really cool to look at and just just really great. But anyways, uh, you know, and I'll probably do a video showing you guys all those strategy guides at another time. But uh, yeah, uh, Oracle Siege Seasons and Ages were a great game. In fact, I hope they remaster it like they did Link's Awakening at some point. But without further ado, let's get into the video and hey, if you guys enjoy this type of content, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, uh, drop a comment down below. We love hearing from you guys and uh, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss a single minute of the fun. But uh, let's get into it. Let us open up this book without cutting the pages. There we go. I left it all freshly wrapped for you guys. Didn't even look at it last night when I got home. Okay. It's got a cool little return to the to a high rule transformed. Nice. I, I really like the Breath of the Wild one was a lot smaller. So I kind of like that they kind of space stuff out in this book. I mean, there's probably a lot of stuff. Um they go through forty hearts. Nice. It's a lot of hearts. All right, character resources and progression. Hmm. Side adventures, a category for side adventures. On the side, you can kind of see here, it's hard to see. They got quick start, uh, primer, um, companions, main quest, shrines, side adventures, side quests, atlas, inventory, uh, bestiary indexes. Uh, so get back here, you got the atlas. So it shows all the different like things and there's legends to show exactly what stuff is. Um, there is, oh, they show the under underground. That's really cool as well. Different areas, the light routes and anything you might run into. So they really kind of go um, through different things. You got your inventory and stuff like that that you can get. Some of it new, some of it from the old game. Um, of course, the materials, all the stuff you can snap with your camera. So if you're wondering what you're missing from your compendium, you can potentially do that. Uh, cooking gives you instructions on cooking, which is always helpful to create the best dishes to get the most, uh, you know, the most hearts for the uh, smallest amount of, you know, um, uh, materials. So there's that stuff too. So and building vehicles, that's cool. They give you guides to building vehicles. So that's really cool as well um, just tons of cool stuff um, the amiibos they show what certain amiibos do in the game so that's really cool um, and there you go the 
You got the beast, bestiarity, beastie. I can't even pronounce that sometimes. The be, beastie. Ah, don't ask me. Don't ask me to pronounce stuff. It's one of my best friends from. He always used to pronounce Pokemon names like, like it was the easiest thing in the world, and I always screwed them up. Uh, the like likes, which are a new addition to the game. So many like likes. Thought, I thought the regular kind was enough, but like having all the like elemental versions, like, uh, no, <laughs> I don't like that. Um, but yeah, now, so it kind of gives you a cool, just snap view of what this has in it. It's very well put together, very well drawn, just so many good images, so much good art. Um, and just, it just gives you a lot of cool things that you can find out things that you might not know about the game um, probably gives you the locations of the Koroks which is actually really good because finding the Koroks like someone said uh, in a video I saw is probably uh, akin to uh, um, punishing yourself because there's so many of them um, but yeah so looks like you know this is just it's a great little book the it looks very nice the hardcover is really nice again I, I like to say when you're looking at books and stuff like that always check uh, when you open it that the binding is gonna stay in good shape because sometimes books are just not made as well as they should be but uh, no this is a very nice book really really well done really looks great uh, I love the the broken master sword and all the like this the kind of um, uh, what is it? The um, Zonai kind of symbology and stuff like that looks really great. I am definitely glad that I added this to my collection. Uh, tell me what you guys think. If you think that this is a worthwhile pickup, do you think uh, it's, I think uh, on Amazon, it was only about 36 bucks. So it's not even that expensive uh, for less than 40 bucks. You can add this to your collection. That's like half a D and D book, the price of a D and D book. So uh, it's, pretty good price in my opinion and it looks really well and I'm happy with what they did. So, you know, looks like that's all the time we have for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in uh, and, uh, and we hope you have a great day. That's all for now, folks.